Ah, good, uh, Lasca Hearlock, and uh, I want to welcome Minister English to the House um, for this debate and statements on housing. And at the outset, I, I, I don't agree with Senator Crockwell where he says statements are futile. I think it is an opportunity for all of us to raise issues of concern, put them on the public record, and in, indeed suggest solutions to the Minister, who I know is willing to listen. And it's an opportunity also for the Minister to report progress and ourselves to contribute to that as well. So I think, it, I think it's very worthwhile, and indeed we, we invited the Minister for, for this debate. Um, I, I, I want to again acknowledge the commitment of €6 billion Euros committed by government to fund housing construction activation in both the social and private housing sectors. I think that is a substantial commitment that we need to see delivered upon, along with our stakeholders, the approved housing bodies, the local authorities and many other agencies that are out there that are working uh, to resolve the housing challenge that currently exists. Um, to acknowledge also that the Government continues to prioritise homelessness as number one priority in terms of housing uh, solutions, uh, and then also housing access and uh, affordability uh, for people to get a roof over their head. I have said numerous times previously, uh, it is all about supply, whether it is social or private housing, it is about increasing the number of housing units to make available to those that most need them. And the Minister has indeed comprehensively outlined to the Senate the rising number of housing units and solutions being delivered upon across the various sector, both public and private, in the various regions around, around the, uh, the country. Uh, the Minister has told us that we are now over 8,000 units of social housing per year, and the target is to, to reach 12,000 units per year. And I welcome that commitment, which is an absolute commitment from the Minister here on the public record. We have heard some criticism of the HAP scheme, the Housing Assistance Payment Scheme, which essentially is an interim solution uh, to assist people uh, to find housing solutions until ha adequate housing supply comes on stream. And it has proven to supply homes to thousands of people right around the country. And I would ask the question of those that criticise that scheme, what is the alternative to HAP? while we await uh, the, the additional social housing uh, units coming on stream. I believe there isn't. I think it would only increase the problem if we don't engage in the HAP scheme. I think it does provide uh, thousands of solutions for people requiring homes. I just want to mention the Rebuilding Ireland uh, Home Loan Scheme as well, Minister. That scheme, I think, received some criticism prior to, uh, to the summer recess. And to recognise uh, the work that you and Minister Murphy has done uh, in providing additional funding for this scheme, I, I believe over a thousand people have taken advantage of this uh, home loan, and these are people that would have been caught between stools that wouldn't qualify for a social house uh, and wouldn't uh, qualify for a mortgage in the normal process uh, with, the, with, with their engagements with the banks. So the Rebuilding Ireland Home Loan Scheme is proving a success, and I want to recognise that €363 million Euros in additional funding has been made available, and that's in addition to the, to the original €200 million Euros previously provided. So that will provide many solutions for people around the country. Uh, just to, to report pr further progress and to put on the record, um, for, for the, up to the end of June 2019, I note that over 22,600 new homes have become available for use around the country. Something that interests me greatly as well is that over 30,000 planning permissions have been granted for new homes and over 24,500 uh, homes have commenced on site in terms of construction. So th these are interesting statistics to report progress and to reassure people, I suppose, that are concerned that, they're not, that not enough uh, housing and homes are coming on stream. Uh, an interesting fact about the planning permissions granted so far this year is the growth of apartment planning. And I think we recognise, especially in our cities, uh, that there is a more demand for apartments, whether it's for young workers or students. Um, the planning permissions has jumped 156 per cent year on year following the, the changes that the government made in, regard, in regards to design and height guidelines. So obviously something is working in that regard and it will mean uh, the provision of more solutions for people uh, into the future. And I think that has to be welcomed as well. Um, just to report progress uh, locally in terms of my own, I, I recently Minister visited some schemes and projects that are underway that are supported by uh, the Department of Housing, and I think it's important to note uh, that they are successful. You mentioned, Minister, the LIHAP scheme, which is the, um, the, it's, it's the scheme for, for, for uh, local infrastructure uh, housing activation fund, uh, where over um, three and a half million euros was provided to Waterford Council. And I visited the LIHAP scheme in Kilbarry recently, uh, where infrastructure is being put into lands uh, like water, uh, sewerage, uh, electricity, uh, to open up those lands to new development. 
And I've seen it firsthand now where the builders are on site and we expect to deliver over 400 units in the coming years on that site up to 2021. Many of those are already been front loaded and delivered already. Uh, Respond are on an adjacent site, uh, a very recognised approved housing body who have done great work right across the country. Uh, they have 69 units under construction at Kilbarry due to be completed in quarter one of next year. And there are many other similar schemes in Knightsgrange in Lacken, a turnkey project funded by the Department of housing, 20 units have been completed and keys are being handed over and another 20 are under construction. So that, I'm just mentioning one area of Waterford City and there are many other schemes completed um, that I visited. The Arms Houses in Tallow were opened recently by the former Mayor Declan Ducey, Councillor Declan Ducey. Uh, cool Finn Woods in my own uh, village in Port Law, nine new units opened recently, new families gone into those and the old cinema site in Dungarvan. So there, are, there is solid progress being made, Minister. I know you're going around the country yourself uh, opening many of those schemes uh, but we need we need much more and, and we recognize that um, some other issues I wanted to mention uh, in, in the time that I've available um, ministers uh, again the, you mentioned affordability and access to affordable housing um, I welcome the fact that uh, the department is engaging again with local authorities and has provided over 310 million euros for the service sites initiative on public lands uh, I think that was successful in the past, uh, where people again uh, you know, take benefit from, uh, as, I suppose, a subsidised house or a subsidised site, and where it makes it more affordable for people to access homes, and I think we need to see more of that as well. Um, an area that I would agree with Senator Crockwell on is, is the issue of rental versus mortgage repayments. Many uh, individuals and families now are finding themselves paying more rent than they would as, as if they had a mortgage. And I think we do need to address this, and I know it's, a, it's not entirely a matter for the Department of Housing, it's a matter for the Department of Finance as well, in terms of central bank uh, lending regulations. And I think we do need to be careful to get the balance right in this regard. We don't want to see what happened in the past, where people overextend themselves, where lending uh, gets out of, out of kilter uh, with what people can afford, and then you end up with another crash. But what I do believe is where people have uh, genuinely shown they can uh, consistently pay uh, uh, a solid rental uh, contribution over a period of time, that, that that should be taken into account for mortgage purposes and mortgage approval purposes. Uh, people are struggling uh, to uh, get mortgage approval even though they are paying a consistent rent at possibly a, a higher cost than they would pay, pay a mortgage. So I think that is something that needs to be addressed by government. I've actually raised this with our colleague, um, the Minister Pascal O'Donoghue as well, Minister for, 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 for Finance, uh, because I do believe it's an area where, where improvement is needed. So, Minister, I want to wish you well um, as you continue to engage with all of the stakeholders in terms of delivery of supply, whether it's private housing or social housing. Obviously, social housing has to be the priority in terms of government funding, and it's proven now that it's increasing around the country. Uh, we do need interim solutions, and I commend you and your colleagues for, for implementing those, uh, because we are getting there. We need to stick with this. The challenge remains. Uh, the rental pressure zones are increasing in different areas, and they won't be addressed until we address the, uh, the, 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 the fundamental factor of provision of supply of housing in all areas, both cities and regions right around the country. Thank you very much, Senator Coffey. Our next